Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. Hey you, slime over there, stay away. This is my area. So, last time I mentioned the fact that we were going to get that thermal lily behind me going. Well, it turns out I can't. At least not at the moment. That mana spreader over there, not capable enough. It loses way too much mana because it fills up and then a whole bunch is wasted. Not good for mana production. So I think it's time we automate what we have here. Because what I need to do is I need to open the portal to Elfheim. It's in Alphomancy. Basically, us Minecrafters here, we just are not bright enough. But the elves, the elves are smart. Now we can build this this portal but the problem is is that we cannot actually step through it but we can put items through it and we can put our lexicon through it and we'll gain the knowledge of the elves oh I didn't even know that they put the view online way to go Vasky I like that but what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a, an elven gateway core which requires a tear stealing it we're gonna need some Natura pylons, which requires a Terra stealing it. Um, living wood is simple. Glimmering living wood is simple. The core goes in. Two mana uh, pools. Pylons above. And then we just right click the core with the wand of uh, forest. Problem is, the portal requires a substantial amount of pools deposited in both the or mana deposited in both the pools to open up. After that, it'll slowly drain some to keep itself powered. If it runs out of mana, the connection will be broken. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's not strong enough to allow living beings to go through it. Yeah, here it is. The amount of information about Elfheim stored in this lexicon is resumed to this entry alone. Perhaps letting the elves have a look at it might prove beneficial. Perhaps they'd also return a good amount of knowledge of their mystical constructs. Well, basically we're going to need mana, and I barely have half a mana pool here. So I want to automate this. We're going to use an old... Oh, you guys are done already. Well, that's good. An old vanilla technique. And that... Actually, let's see if I can do this. Uh, no, I wanted you up one. Uh, right there perfect so we've got a dispenser here and if you know how this works by covering it like this the only place it can go is deposit an item up on the surface here have a little bit of entry here probably should have a torch in here but it's okay I'm just gonna utilize some dirt in here not a big deal and then we want to put down timer. It's already working. But we're going to want this on something much more substantial than this. And I've worked out the math and we want it to be on about a hundred and five second um, interval. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to take the charcoal blocks that I put in there and it's going to deposit one of them every hundred and five seconds. The average burn time um, for one of these flowers is 400 seconds. So if I deposit it every 105, that means every 105 seconds roughly, one of these will be shutting off and it'll pick up a new charcoal block. See what I'm doing here? Basically it'll always keep depositing one and feeding one of the flowers at one time. It's easier than trying to do a quadruple pulse. Um, we'll just stagger it. All four will be running at the same time. It's just they'll all be at different stages. Now, I don't have much charcoal left here, which is going to be a problem. But remember, we have a whole... Actually, I should face that way. There's our base. Well, there's the base. There's the portal. We have a whole bunch of charcoal back at home. We just don't have access to it in our, um, our ME system. So I think we need to take a look at um, getting it so that we can see it. We need to hook up the tree farm 
and we need to hook up the reactor uh, to our ME system so that everything is automated. Uh, so let's take a look at doing that back at home. Ooh, that was quite the lag spike there when I started recording. Uh, what this is going to take, we're going to run cabling here, and what I'm doing is I'm pulling off of the other side of the controller that I have not used yet. Now remember, as you can see, we've got four of eight channels on this side, uh, two of eight, and then eight of eight. Well, the controller can spit out 32 channels per side, plus we can multi-block it, so we're just going to have to utilize some dense cable in the future here. Uh, but, as discussed before, dense cable... Oh, shoot. Of course it had to go up on top. Uh, dense cable... Ooh. Okay, we're just going to have to go boom, 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 boom. Uh, requires a lot of wool. Okay, should be able to get it from the bottom side now. And we do not have a wool farm set up yet, so still have to take care of that soon. Uh, but that'll be over in the Botania area, and it'll probably utilize um, some Botania type mechanisms. Which I think should be a lot of fun. So, the question is, how much cabling do I actually have made? This was a bit expensive. It's used up most of my Certus Quartz, which is why I knew I was going to need to get a bunch of Certus Quartz. So apparently with one block, or one cable, the lighting doesn't get affected, but with more than one it does. I don't know. That's interesting. Very interesting if you ask me. Oop. Should be almost there. There we go. I've also got um, some regular conduit, insulated redstone conduit, because I want to be able to run something. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough cable here. Uh, from the reactor room. No, I don't want it there. Um, shoot. Did I get it now? There we go. So let's not put it back there again. I'm going to utilize a little bit of control from the reactor room. So... We don't have enough of that either. And I'll probably do that off camera because you guys don't need to see me run the redstone conduit. But we do need some more cable. Uh, conduit. I want you to craft me up. Um, well, actually, we're going to need to run it to the reactor room anyway, so let's just try 30 of them. Go. Crafts them pretty fast. I actually got 32. I wonder about that. I've actually been really happy with how the auto crafting system has been working so far. Uh, it's been fun kind of setting up the new new version, the new method. So it's probably going to come up right underneath there, but we're going to have to get some access down in here at some point. Oh, that's right. It actually is under the ground, isn't it? Well, that might complicate things a little bit. Okay, right there's where we need to get to. And then the other one is right there. So we might as well place in our storage buses. One right here, one right here. And yes, I'm actually going to use the regular um, Fluex cable right there.
and then I'll switch over now to uh, the Ender IO version, like so. I gotta get out of here, don't I? <laughs> Good enough. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it'll work for now. So does that mean I have to find this cable? Aha, here's where we came up, isn't it? I think I actually got it. Nice. Oh, that's right. There's power running over there. Don't mind me. I'm just going to dig my way through here for a moment. Do we have enough cable, though? That is the question. Oh, yeah, we do. Nope. Didn't want that one. Okay, so did those come online now? Oh, I can't see. Before I cover that up, let's double check that it's working. Do, 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 do. We should have access to a whole bunch of wood and a whole bunch of charcoal. Yep. Beautiful. Perfect. So that is working exactly as it should. So I guess the next thing to do is to run a bunch of cable over to the reactor so we could set up the reactor room as well. So. Uh oh. I think this one right here was an extra block. It should be like that and like that. So let me run that and let me also run the other conduit, uh, the redstone alloy conduit, this guy right here, uh, insulated redstone conduit, and uh, we'll finish setting that guy up as well. Oh, we need to craft some more. Wow. So I'll be right back. Uh, this is reading as zero because, well, I was testing something. I needed this to, to fill up here and I'll show you guys that in a bit. But what we need to do I need to steal one of those guys and we need to put two ME interfaces on here. Now I want to see I want to see if this works. So if I have it set like that oh yep notice what it did it had two cyanide ingots uh, in there because it was auto injecting I uh, don't think we can yeah we can't quite get to it now this guy we want facing in like that we want wanted to keep um, one eulorium ingot in there at all times now apparently it is listing this as not being connected. It certainly looks like it should be. So why isn't it connected? That all looks okay. Uh, it is possible that it requires regular cable. Uh, Fluex cable. If that's the case, I can quick craft some. But uh, I have to go down below to check that. It is showing four of eight channels. Oh. Oh. Uh, by the way, this is what I was setting up, but I'll explain that in just a bit. Um, can I see those? Oh, here, reactor access ports. Okay, so it is reading it now. So the question is, is it truly working? Um, 
Was I gonna grab something here? Don't think so. We'll eat. By the way, I realized that uh, if I combine two pieces of toast together, you get these toast sandwiches. You get a ridiculous amount of saturation out of it. Much better than just you know just eating two pieces of toast. I think you get a little less hunger recovered, but more saturation back. So if that's the case, I'm just going to break this for now. So it was not inputting it directly. I don't think I have any item. No. That's okay. Uh, what I'm going to do then. So I think we're going to put this guy down right here. We're going to tell it to do one, one item. Now it should link at some point here. It should grab this, I think. Oh, there we go. See now it's it's linked together. Perfect. I want to grab two things. We're gonna grab an item duct, and we're gonna grab well not an item duct. Um, the item conduits from Enderio. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I just know they're in here. These guys. Oh, it is an item conduit. So we need one of them. And I also want to get a crafting station right there. Crafting terminal. Can't make anything. Ooh. Okay, so let's let's tell it to make some things here. First of all, we need it to craft one of these. We also need some planks. Ah, uh, that's right, you can't yet. Well, it's pretty easy to just do that. And then we need a regular ME terminal which I have everything except for the gold processor. Craft me one of them. Almost there. I should put some uh, speed upgrades into those um, inscribers. It would probably make this go a little bit faster. There, it just made it. We'll put one of those guys, put one of these guys, and we need a crafting table, which is somewhere in here. There it is. Beautiful. Um, let's quick make some, uh, craft up a couple of these guys. Guess it does four at a time. Just in case I can't put a crafting terminal on top of the ME conduits from th from Ender IO. You never know what it might do. Um, cross mod compatibility can be kind of iffy, iffy at times. Okay, so what we're going to do now um, We want to do that. We want this guy to be inserting. We want it to be always active. And now we have 64. Beautiful. And this will always have one in it. That's important because if the power were to cut out, um, it, because it ran out of fuel in here because something you know it was not ejecting properly or anything like that there will be one in here no matter what 
No, I just want to see if I put... Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, now we got to go back into... At least any conduit mode here. I just want to have the ability to put in one of these guys here. It should connect at some point here. Anytime now. System's got to update. There we go. Perfect. So we have that as well. I'm going to have to do some cleanup here. Um, but that allows us to basically automate the reactor now. So what I was doing with these uh, insulated redstone conduits, I have it going into the power monitor here, which as you know, kicks out a signal uh, whenever it's running, uh, whenever it's running the reactor. That's what forces it on. Uh, so that goes over to the yellow light over there, which is off right now. This guy is set to tell me whenever there's any amount of energy stored inside the reactor. That means the reactor got stuck on. So that'll turn on the red light, uh, letting me know that the reactor is stuck on and I needed to come and do something about it. So I just wanted that safety built in. But we have plenty, plenty of charcoal. So I think we need to head back over to our Batania area and we need to probably set up something over there um, for us to, to work out here. We need, we need to automate the mana production by a little bit more. So uh, I'll meet you guys over there with a few more things. Well, it looks like we've got some mana flowing. Pretty decently, actually. Oh, but it's taken a while. So this guy right now has got eh, a little less than half. We got him spreading out in here, which doesn't even have a quarter of a mana pool yet. I think we need at least a half a mana pool in there uh, to run it. No, I, no. Stop. Apparently it's dangerous for me to have my ring on around here, so I think we're going to take it off for now. Because I keep stealing that charcoal block. So I think it's time we build the portal. I've expanded this out a little bit here. And uh, these two mana pools are for the portal. So this is how we have to do it. We're going to need eight living wood blocks. Okay, that's eight. Perfect. What else do we need? Nope. Uh, three glimmering limb wood, or living wood. So that's, nope. Three of them plus glowstone. One, two, three. Okay, so we got three of those. What else do we need? Uh, we need one elven gateway core that is a terra steel surrounded by eight living wood again. Very easy to make. Except for the terra steel, obviously. But. And then we also need two mana pools, which I have on, and two natura pylons. Which. Okay, I've got the regular mana pylons. If I remember correctly, it's terra steel in the middle, mana pylon on each side. Yep, and you get natura pylons. Perfect. So how do you build it? Well, first of all, we make a frame of living wood, like so. I'm actually going to grab out half a stack of dirt here, just to make this easier to work on. And uh, how far does it need to be away? Because I already have the mana pool set should be one, two, three blocks away. So one, two, right there should be the center. So we want living wood here and here. Actually, no, you know what? Um, where is it? 
Oh. Oh, my axe. I think we should put it into the ground. Yep. So right here. So we put that there, that there. Then it should be here and here. Should be a dirt block. Oop. One there. And then we should be able to go here and here. Put a block on top of each of those. That looks right, correct? Yep. Then we put the glimmering in here. And then the elven gateway core goes in the center. Uh, the two mana pools get placed. Then you place a Natura pylon on top of each, like so. Oh, that looks cool. And then what you would normally do is you would right click this guy with your wand and uh, that would open it. But I don't think we have the mana to do it. We could try it, but I don't think it'll open. Let's see. Nope, see? Won't work. See, so you put the El Elven Gateway Core, you put the two mana pools outside of it. Open up the portal, simply right click the core with the wand of the forest. Portal requires a substantial amount of mana deposit in both the pools to open up. After that, it'll slowly drain. Yeah, we don't have enough. Hmm. Well, I think that means we're going to have to do something else while we wait for this to, to build up. That is getting ahead just by a little bit, which is okay. Um, normally, I would want to do this with sparks with these guys because these guys can move mana in a hurry. But the problem is, is we can't use um, sparks necessarily. Like right now, this spark feeds this spark only when this thing calls for mana. We can't force it over here. What you need are these augments here. And all of these augments require pixie dust. Pixie dust requires that. So we can't get anywhere with it right now. No, I don't want it. See, that is working so well, by the way. I've been watching it. It just keeps feeding them. Oh, it does such a nice job. I put, what, five stacks in there? So, I'm going to check... I'm going to check my... Um, my time here. Where I'm going to meet you guys back home while this is running. And there's one thing I think I want to do here before I wrap up this episode. Because we can't use this guy yet. We're going to use this guy first um, in the next episode. But until that point, I'm going to have to wait because I need mana. <sighs> Probably at least half a mana pool. Once I get that and I can make the sparks, oh man, this is going to go so much better. So much better. We can get rid of these uh, mana spreaders and, and use just sparks. Oh, it'll be amazing. Um, in fact, we'll probably have a storage space somewhere down below. Um, it'll look really good. But uh, I guess for now, I'll meet you guys back at home. Yes, it's thundering out, but look, it's working. That means the reactor's on. And as long as this light turns off and this light never comes on, we are good to go. So what I am making something pretty cool that thunder is going to get to me after a while I need one of those energetic alloy heading up to a vibrant alloy so I need one of those oops no this one one of these I need a head I need two pieces of Solarum thingies, whatever they're called. So I need two gold, 
two of those. And then I believe I need two silicon, if I remember correctly. Yep, and then I need two of these. Perfect. Put that into the slice and splice. Um, okay, so first of all, what I'm making is a, not a sireless, a wireless charger from Ender IO. Um, okay, we're going to need a big one of those guys so I can craft those up. And then electrical steel, which is, so we need seven, seven iron. Six, seven, um, seven of these guys, and seven coal dust. We'll get those crafting up. Yep, that's right. Uh, I need the ender resonator. Perfect. We're also going to need. I don't think I have, okay, so I have one of those. Now, do I have the ability to auto craft them? No. That would be amazing if I could. Oh, that's right. So I'm gonna need um, two more of those guys. Then I think we need some energetic, right? So that's two of those, two of those. I really need to work on, I need to finish up the auto crafting in this place. It will be coming soon because I'm getting tired of having to find all these alloys things. I wanna just be able to tell it, make me some of these alloys. I'm gonna need one more of these, or two more of these, aren't I? Because I can make Yep. I need to be able to make uh, a pair of energetic alloys. I have very little gold in here. I have a stack of ore in the other room, um, but I want to start making or uh, processing it. Ah, uh, capacitor. I should be able to rest it. No. I should be able to make this. Yep. As long as we have a glowstone block in here, perfect. Should be able to grab these two. Oh wait, nope, 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 nope. Need ender pearls. Two ender pearls. See, I'm getting quicker at this. Boom. I didn't even check. Yep, went off. Perfect. So our system is working flawlessly. Okay, so we need this guy. We should have everything we need. Beautiful. Now, the thing to go with this guy, and all you have to do is stick this somewhere near a power line. So, yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna be there. I'm gonna stick it. Oh, the big power line is there. So it needs to go right there. Perfect. Oop. So we've got a wireless charger in here. Well, what am I going to use that for? Simple. We are going to make an exchanger. Remember I added this from Entertech? We're finally going to make one. So what do I have? Um, I do have the Tesseract. It's in there. So we need to make these. Ooh. Okay, so let's start with this. We have a leadstone capacitor. Oh, nope, nope, nope. So I think we need to make this one now. Darn it, we're missing some invar. 
one, two, one. See, it could auto craft up the f the invar as well. So many things I could auto craft. Okay, so now we've got a hardened. Should be able to make this. Oh. Electrum. Gold and silver. One silver. One very short on gold. Ooh. Easy now, boy. Be glitching out on me. Two electrum. That's redstone. And unless I, yeah, I don't have pyrothium. Of course I don't have pyrothium. Now I do. So we've got the resonant flux capacitor. Now I just gotta find my tesseract. I don't, it's, there it is. <gasps> and watch this. It's charging. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's beautiful. So, how does this work? Well, if you remember last season, I worked with um, uh, does it stop? Oh, I'm just out of range. My, okay, I'm still in range here. I worked with Thomcraft, and one of the wand focuses, one of the wand foci was the ability to exchange stuff. This guy can do the same thing. I think you right click. There. Okay, so dirt is now active. I might have to move that so I can see what's going on. So you see this? Um, I wonder if there's... I guess there's not a way to do this, but... Ready for this? Boom. <laughs> Yep, it exchanges. Straight out exchanges. Pretty cool, right? So now if instead I wanted to do um, this cobbled slate, just right click that and we will fix it. So where do I want to use this for? Well, I want to use this for building. Um, that's why I wanted to make it. I want to be able to, I think, start working out how this room's going to look, and I don't want to be digging stuff up. I want to be able to just exchange stuff. Uh, so that's the plan that I have for that, and there's a very good chance that I'm going to start doing this um, on a live stream. I probably will not be building at least the design of this room uh, on video, so it'll probably come up in another video some at some point. I'll just live stream it. Um, and the same thing goes for my um, my trophy room, if you will. Um, I'm very close to putting headcrumbs in here for my Patreon stuff. And I have decided to build that hall in the buildings or in the mountain up there. I want to be able to like go across there. Uh, maybe we'll make a bridge of some sort, a grand bridge to get over there or something. I don't know. But up in that mountain, I want to build a giant hall. And I want to use this exchanger. I think it's ideal uh, for that kind of a setup. Watch the numbers start going up over there. There we go. Now she's full. So definitely going to be a tool that I'm going to use. Uh, but with that, guys, um, I'm probably headed back. I'm definitely headed back to the Twilight Forest because I need to build up some mana and I might as well go uh, here and babysit it but you guys don't need to do that you guys don't need to to see that so instead oop, hi dear oop, there we go so actually I can probably do this too probably gonna run into a wall of some sort that I can't get up right there we go. We're headed. Oh, shoot. We are not headed in the right direction. Oop. You know, this is a really hard view to walk in. But with that, guys, 
Thanks for watching. And as always, take it easy. Oh, God. Oh, don't go in the hole.